This is Jack. Jack from Out of Gas. How do you like my new tux tee? Wasteland pro tip. Always have at least two tux tees. You never know when one might be overly saturated with blood and need a replacement. All right, everybody. Good evening. I'm Trevor Kellogg. So glad you're here. Machine gun? When has there ever been a machine gun in any game ever since the beginning of time? Squishers getting squished. Oh! That weird cucumber gut, it's gone. It's like the Swiss Army knife of the wasteland. Just walk it on down. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> See if I can get that eyeball out. Oh, there it goes. Bye bye, eyeball. Of course, no more Grimeland babies! Oh man, that one dodged everything. He might live to spawn again. Couldn't handle it. Feels good, man. Indeed it does. Feels quite good, man. The machine gun also has a hit percentage not as high as the machine gun, but pretty close. The weak pistol. Never insult your weapons. The last Dorito. They might be your only, only hope. When surrounded by freaks of the wasteland, the pistol, pistol may come in to save the day. Died before the intro was even over. Pathetic. Teacher. I'll explain the game's combat system a little bit, real quickly here. Each monster has three stats. They have an aim, mobility, and a power stat. You see in the upper right here, represented by these three gauges. And you as a player, you get to approach combat any way you want. Um, you get to try to find out where these three stats are hidden on each monster. So, it'd be a hardened Wasteland, hardened wasteland, warrior wasteland. This guy, Gordimer. Meat. And la la la, grenade only run. That's a lot of damage. The beard is actually what has, uh, it's grown sentient and it's actually what's programming this game. I'm just a toast. I just eat food and it draws power off of me and coats the game, so. He still lets me put my name in the byline, though. I appreciate that. Thanks, Beard! Looks like we've got some viewers from down under. Welcome and good day. This veggie mate like Twinkies, it has no expiration date and therefore will last long into the ap apocalypse. Post apocalyptic diet. Twinkies with veggie mate. <laughs> He's so cute, what? No! Grimlins are not cute. Nothing in the post apocalyptic wasteland is cute. Okay, I admit, they're kind of cute. No more Grimlin babies. Bing! You can't see, but I winked under my sunglasses. Triple oof. Get me away from that poo pile. Delasterito De says, let's play some old builds. Sounds good to me, friend. So I've been working on Out of Gas for a little over three years. Isn't that crazy? First, I want to show you the... And I've been using Game Maker from Yo-Yo Games. Great game engine. Great way to just get started. Get started with programming. Get started with making a game. I have a computer science degree, so it wasn't all brand new to me. But I, what I really liked about it was that I could just get in and go... 
So let's open up the first the first ever game I coded. You ready for this? Are you ready? I hope you're ready. For Catch the Clown! <laughs> This is the very first game that uh, Game Maker walks you through in the tutorial. You click the clown! You get points. Maybe I So you can hear this. Alright, so this is like one of the first... You'll never get my gas, human. Did you guys hear that? You'll never get my gas, human. Yeah, getting hardcore Zelda vabs, right? Mudda mudda. Yeah, so... <laughs> out of gas, very uh, heavily inspired by Zelda. The Zelda games of yore. A dead purple dude. Fun fact, this little purple guy, I just... kind of MS Paint farted him out. I was wrong. <laughs> then you win. There you go. I hope you have, like, a really super powerful graphics card to run out of gas. Two. Two super powerful graphics cards. See if I can get the game running again.